Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, I'm talking boots, these guys right here, by Solomon, they're the Solomon Forces Speed Assault 2. So, what are they? They are the sequel to Speed Assault 1's The End. Just kidding. They're actually pretty cool. So, Solomon has kind of a neat history, started through the GWAT, Global War and Terror, of working with military units, armed forces, and making some kind of mission-specific footwear. And one of the big things is a departure from anything reflective on here, which pretty much all their commercial line has reflective material somewhere in there, which is cool. And then also color paths. And with that, working through US Elite to come out with some pretty cool kind of footwear through there. These are basically the Speed Assault 2's continuation of that Speed Assault 1, same premise, and basically made for either hot weather or wet weather, but like think wet hot weather. So whether it's the desert or the jungle, not insulated. There's some pretty cool stuff going on with these boots. Up here on the tongue, it's actually gusseted on both sides. And with that, you have material kind of folding down. So keeping any type of debris and stuff like that from getting in there. And then with that, uses their speed lace system. So you end up grabbing onto this guy, pulling up, cinches all this tight, slide this down, keeps tension on there. However much tension you just created, pulling these tight. And then right here, there's basically this kind of little neoprene pocket. And you can take that and this and basically shove all of this stuff down in here, out of the way, no snag hazard, no laces coming undone, anything like that. And then across the whole top, there's basically this mesh material, really lightweight, really breathable, and everything's welded along here too. And then around this whole thing, you have basically a mud guard. So, I mean, they're not waterproof, would not celebrate it, but if you're stepping in something, once it comes over that, yeah, then they're gonna get wet. But until then, you're doing pretty good. And then, actually they're damp right now, maybe noticed, rained earlier, been walking through wet grass. It's fine, because the other nice thing is they actually dry out really quick. And then toe cap, and then on the bottom is their contra grip. Basically these chevron shaped treads, which actually work really well. These ones on the outside, I would argue too well, depending on the environment you're in, but yeah, kind of more on that in a minute. I guess I'll speak to how I've used these and then to that end, how they've done for me. So I've worn them around quite a bit, sometimes just around town, worn them out to like range sessions, stuff like that, and I've actually worn them through a couple different shooting courses. One of the shooting courses was actually a Modern Minuteman course by Amtac Shooting, which included like Modern Minuteman competition basically on day two, which was a lot of moving, under load, land nav, stuff along those lines down in kind of Goldendale, Washington. And these worked, they did not do the best for me. And reason being, when we were down there that time of year, I guess kind of spring, there was a lot of high grass. And so these incredibly aggressive biased forward lugs would actually go and grab on all the tall grass, like so much so that it would actually shorten your gait, which was kind of surprising and not a lot of fun when you're trying to cover a lot of ground in a short period of time because it's a race, waypoint to waypoint. And I was like, damn, like, wouldn't have thought about that, but that's definitely a thing. Home stretch. I just got to cut across this field. I will say these Speed Assault 2 book, uh, boots catch everything. And yeah, these sticking like out, they would basically grab that grass, which I was like, eh, well, see how they do in other environments. And I ended up actually wearing these in a limited signature pistol and limited signature limited signature carbine class with Ian from Rune Nation. 
and both days they did awesome. We were running around in gravel, going from like zero to running, and yeah, never lost footing. They actually did a really good job for me there. And in kind of that movement, I will say, I do actually like how this comes up and it kind of hugs your ankle. Still end up with gravel in there. Sample size of one and in fairness at that range, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, unless you have some like weird knee high boots, like you're gonna end up with gravel in your shoes. So even though this does a pretty good job of kind of hugging around your ankle, yeah, still gonna get gravel in there. I've also worn them, I guess in a um, intro to pistol and the other half of the class was jujitsu with Amtec shooting. Did not wear these on the mat, probably would have tore the mat up but definitely wore them up there at the Amtec Training Center at that range. If you have ever been there, that hill is no joke. Like you basically throughout most of the hill getting down to the range, you cannot set anything down. It'll just fall and then start rolling down the hill. Like it's really steep. I will say I never lost traction, never slipped anything like that with these, which is pretty impressive because most people are like sliding down and up the hill like both directions. This did a great job there. Tall grass, not so much there, definitely. And I've also worn them backpacking some to include just coming up here again, under load with a pack and did a great job for me. Having said all that, who do I think these Speed Assault 2s are good for? Well, anyone that needs to assault something really fast. Honestly, these are just a good all around lightweight kind of hiking shoe for warm weather and or warm wet. They're not Gore-Tex, which is good, and they dry pretty quick. And if it is really warm and or hot out, yeah, like keep your feet pretty cool. As far as sizing goes, pretty true to size. Generally, I'll wear like a 10 and a half wide. While these, I don't believe, are supported in wide sizes, just whole sizes. Yeah, 10 and a half. They, for me anyway, not very constrictive, which is nice because, yeah, certain shoes, like, I won't even go there. Like, they're too tight. And on a pragmatic level, I actually really like the speed laces because, yeah, I know how to tie my shoes. Don't really like to tie them, especially in our house. Usually take our shoes off when we come in and out. So if I'm going in and out, don't really want to tie them. This is really easy. Just cinch this thing down, shove it in there. You're good to go. And yeah, pretty much anywhere. Like you can wear these casually around town, or I do anyway. And great on the range, traction wise. Up in the mountains, again, lightweight, still enough support sample size of one, I would not wear them in high grass. If high grass is gonna be your thing, I would probably not wear these. Pretty much anywhere else though, these things are pretty solid. I've been pleased with them. And I actually really like the colors they use, this one being basically their gray. They also, I think, have kind of like a tan desert color and or like a brown basically, and then also a black. But you can get them through US Elite, There'll be a link down below. I want to say about 160 bucks and half sizes up to, I forget how much. So whole and half sizes up to, I don't know. Once you get to the point where you have such big feet that no one wants to make half sizes after that. I don't know where that benchmark is. But I've overall been really pleased with these things and I'm sure we'll continue to use them, just not in high grass. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.